Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss the ND Ag laser. ND Ag laser is a four level solid state laser and it is one of the most popular lasers that is used in industry and research. The ND Ag laser emits in the infrared region. YAG it is an acronym for Yttrium Aluminum Garnet. Chemical formula is Y3AL5O12. Yttrium Aluminum Garnet. AG is an acronym for Yttrium Aluminium Garnet. In this, we use neodymium in its 3 plus form. So, some of the yttrium atoms are replaced by the neodymium 3 plus ions to develop the ND AG. In the case of an ND AG laser, the active centers are the ND3 plus ion. The ND3 plus ions are present in the host of yttrium aluminum garnet. So this is the host and the dopant is ND. The doping is about 0.725% by weight. Now we shall look at the construction. This is the schematic diagram of the ND AG laser. In this, we have the reflector in the form of an elliptical cylinder. We have a flash lamp at one of the focus of the elliptical cylinder. At the other focus of the elliptical cylinder, we have the ND AG rod, that is the laser rod. On both sides of the laser rod, we have mirrors. On the left side, we have 100% reflecting mirror. And on the right side, we have partially reflecting mirror, that is M2. To drive the flash lamp, we have the electrical circuit or the power supply. The optical resonator is taken in elliptical cylinder form. Since it is an elliptical cylinder, it will have two focal lines. Along one focal line will have the laser rod. While the flash lamp is placed along the other focal line. We know from the elementary geometry and the ray theory that if you have a source of light at one of the foci of an ellipse, then the entire light will be focused on the second focus of the ellipse. Consider this as an ellipse. If we have a source of light here at one of the focus, then the light emitted by the source, it will be eventually be focused on the second focus of the ellipse. So the entire light emitted by the source will be focused on the second focus of the ellipse. This principle we will use while constructing the resonator in the design of ND AG laser. So we have the flash lamp, this is the lamp and we have the laser rod here. So all that light that is emitted by the flash lamp will be focused on the laser rod. The light leaving one focus of the ellipse will pass through the other focus after reflecting from the silvered surface of the reflector. Thus the entire flash lamp radiation gets focused on the laser rod. ND AG laser rod will be about 10 centimeters in length and about 12 millimeters in diameter. Both the ends of the laser rod are polished and we have M1 and M2 mirrors are arranged on both sides to make the resonator. The resonator will have two components mainly. One is housing which is in the form of an elliptical cylinder whose inner surface is silvered and we have two mirrors on both the ends of the laser rod. They make the optical resonator. Now we shall look at the working. This is the energy level diagram of ND3 plus in YAG that is yttrium aluminum garnet. So these ions when they are placed in the host of an AG, they will have an energy level diagram something similar to this. In this we have E1 that is the ground state. We have the pumping levels E4 and E5. When we shine light using a flash lamp, the flash lamp that is used will be either a krypton flash lamp or a xenon flash lamp. So the pumping method we are using is optical pumping because we are using light to excite the electrons in the ND3 plus ions. When the light is shined on the ND AG laser rod, the electrons in the ND3 plus ions, they will be excited to 
either E5 or E4. From there, they make a downward transition to E3, which is a metastable state. E3 is a metastable state. Population inversion is achieved between E2 and E3. A stimulated downward emission transition from E3 to E2 gives the lasing. And from here, the electron makes a downward transition to the ground state. A downward non-radiative spontaneous transition between E2 and E1 takes place. As a result, the ND3 plus ions again are available in their ground state. Now we shall look at the pumping mechanism. When the xenon lamp or the krypton flash lamp is turned on, ND3 plus ions are excited to the upper energy levels E4 and E5. From these energy levels, they make a downward transition to E3, which is a non-radiative spontaneous downward transition. E3 is a metastable state. Thereby, E3 becomes the upper lasing level and E2 is the lower lasing level. Population inversion between E3 and E2 is achieved. Now we shall see the lasing. A spontaneous photon is produced when the ND3 plus ions, they make a spontaneous transition from E3 level to E2 energy level. So the spontaneous photon or the photon emitted during the spontaneous process emitted when E3 to E2 downward emission transition takes place. And this photon acts as the trigger, means this photon will move back and forth in the optical resonator. The spontaneous photon stimulates another photon emission. The stimulated photon will force emission of other photons. Thereby the strength of the laser beam would increase. On attaining certain energy, the laser beam emerges out through the partially reflecting mirror. The lasing will be in IR at 1.06 micrometers. ND3 plus ions make downward transition from E2 to E1. Thereby the population of E1 again is maintained. Now we shall look at the important features. It's a four level laser. The active centers are ND3 plus ions. Optical pumping is used. Krypton or xenon flash lamp are used. Low efficiency and low power laser. It can be made to operate both in continuous wave mode as well as the pulsed mode. In this video, we have started our discussion by understanding what is YAG. We have said it is yttrium aluminum garnet. And in yttrium aluminum garnet, we dope neodymium. The doped neodymium will be in the 3 plus form. The host is Y3AL5O12 in which we dope neodymium. We have seen the construction of the ND AG laser. We have used an elliptical cylinder to construct the optical resonator along with two mirrors, one with 100% reflecting mirror, the other one with partially reflecting mirror. We have used a flash lamp because the optical pumping methods are used in this case. Length of the laser rod is about 10 cm and its diameter is about 12 mm. Both the ends of the laser rod are polished. We have seen the working. We have said that when light is shined on the laser rod, electrons in the neodymium 3 plus ions, they will be excited from E1 to either E4 or E5. From these two energy levels, they make a downward transition to E3, which is a metastable state. From E3, a stimulated emission transition to E2 gives us the laser. Again, from E2 to E1, it is a non-radiative transition. We have seen the pumping mechanism. We have seen the lasing, how lasing happens in the case of a NDAG laser. We have also seen the important features of the NDAG laser. Thank you.